Thank you so much for joining us for another video. This is Arlene's Things. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to our channel, thank you so much for joining us and welcome you to my channel. Now today we're having me, my wife, and Yvette, we're having barbecue chicken sandwich with some chips. I got my two eggs with my um, sweet ranch. Um, not sweet ranch, sweet, it was what's it called? Sweet chili. So my sweet or chili. Sweet chili. <laughs> Anyways. So I'll put that name of it on the uh, on the description. And we're gonna have this because we we'll want to have some barbecue. So we're gonna go ahead and begin because we're hungry. Hope you guys have a have a great day. Barbecue sauce. Mm. 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 <laughs> really? And I got me eggs right here. Me eggs. Yep. Yep. My little chips. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get messy. It's already getting messy. Mm. Mm -hmm. you no, know I forgot it's a spoon to cook to pick up my chili, not me, my barbecue. Mm -hmm. I can do it with my fingers, huh? Okay, no utensil challenge now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm, -hmm. it's so good. Mm -hmm. This is a yellow chili. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best things I love from Tommy's. From Tommy's? Oh, uh, when you go there, you get these burgers, chili burgers, turkey fry. So I'm not gonna sit. A bunch of these yellow chili. That's the first time I even knew it. I told you my first concert was New Edition, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm with my friend from work. This is back in the 90s, okay. I saw when they were Bob and DeVoe already. Yeah, oh, okay. So I bring with my friend Sandy and her husband, nickname was Chrissy, to the new edition concert. I've never been in a concert here. I must have been like 21. Mm. I've never been in a concert here. So we go, we watch new edition, we watch Paul Abdul sing a couple of songs, watch you getting the t shirt, and the SLM blah, blah, blah. So on the way home, this is in LA. On the way home, they go to go to Tommy, the original Tommy. Mm. So we stop at the original Tommy. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Mm. We stop at the original Tommy's, and that's the first time I had a chili cheeseburger mm. from Tommy. Mm -hmm. I had my chili cheese fries, and back then I don't know how it's not, but back then he used to give me a huge box with chili cheese fries that was mm -hmm. enough for all three of us. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time I was introduced to these yellow chilies, and since then on, I've been in love with these. You know, mm -hmm. but it was. When coming from a new edition concert. <laughs> that was me on my way to school. <laughs> mm -hmm. She went ahead and snuck in some alcohol. I was supposed to sneak in alcohol. Where was it at? The Great Western? Remember the Great Western Forum? I don't remember because I remember. It was inside. Yeah. And that's the same night I saw... Janet Jackson, where she had that boyfriend with the glasses, who was her the white guy that was her manager. Oh, so we're going down there and break. They have a break in between. We had a break for some reason. Another band was gonna come. So everybody's coming to our bleachers to, to say hi to Amelia Estevez because he was on the same second floor as we were, but he was all the way in the front, by the you know, by the first aisle. Mm -hmm. on the so I go, I'm getting claustrophobic. So I started going down. It has like a little pathway that you go down. And they had it open. And that was what goes to where the stage is. So of course, I'm there like, oh my God, it's open, you know? So I'm standing there and the toes that come up. So I'm starting to come up. And who I see, Janet Jackson coming down the stairs to go down to the stage. 
with her boyfriend with a white, you know, white guy with glasses. And I was so in awe that oh, she was yeah. so short. Oh, she's tiny, huh? Yes. And then I go, oh my God, oh. I can see Janet Jackson. When I said that, the whole crowd started coming. <laughs> And the security guy was getting pissed and they had to push him all out. You know, it was an amazing night. But that was the mm. first night I went to a concert. And that's when I saw Paul Abdul, Emil Estevez, and Janet Jackson. What's Jackson? In person. Nasty. Why is he Paul Abdul? But I just, I just see Emil Estevez like from here to there. Wow. And Janet Jackson from here to there. It was awesome. Yeah, but that was the first time. So anyways, that was the night that I met Emilio Estevez. And I met... Um, Johnny Jackson, it was like from here to there, and it was a beautiful night. That was the first time I ever went to concert, and so much stuff happened in my first concert. Wow. And I would love that I, I got to know what Tommy's was, because before that, I never even been to Tommy's. Mm -hmm. And I went to the original one, and it was so cool. Mm-hmm. Mm, the cop show off across the street, by the alley. Mm -hmm. It was a crazy night. <laughs> Sounds eventful. It was eventful. Mm -hmm. Remember your first concert? Mm hmm. Where did you go, Wham? You did? <laughs> How did I know? So you saw, um, you saw George Michael live. Mm -hmm. It was awesome, man. What, remember which record it was? When they were Wham UK, and then they dropped it and just became Wham. But when I saw them, they were still Wham UK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I remember when the stories were about the him and the keyboards. They were a couple. Sure, they probably missed early. Well, no, they were kind of a couple, but that was before he even came out. We were talking about it. You know what the industry is to say? Remember when I used to be into music, Hispanic music? At the end of it, it was like you the opening, that early, early, the opening, the openers, and then they have the Spanish people coming that night. Well, he was going that night. It was in, uh, Luis Miguel. Oh, wow. And the word that night was like, oh yeah, well the next day, I, I, we left, we stayed there only for a little bit, we saw Ronica Castro, a couple of people there, came back then, and we left, you know, it was, was going to come late at night, it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock. So they were saying that if you see him outside, which is not true, because obviously it would have been found out by now, but this is back in the 90s, they were saying that he was uh, homosexual. You know? And like, well, I never, some people I can tell. I never could tell with him, you know? You know he has, you know? Very handsome man. Awesome, bold, beautiful voice, you know? I love his voice. But that was the word back then. And I thought for sure he was. And I thought it was gonna be like Ricky Martin was gonna come out one day, but it never, I don't think it was right. It's funny how sometimes um, the industry tries to not Blow the whistle back then on gay people. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they still get it wrong. Because they knew about Ricky Martin, they knew about all those people back then. But the industry is really good about keeping it hush. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know, I made me think about that. I'm getting used to this information in my head. Yeah, but that was cool. That was a really cool night. Mm -hmm. That would be helpful. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess we're going to cut it short, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, peace.